Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all keeping well. I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome to the channel. So approximately 15 months ago, I purchased this 65 inch B8 OLED and uh, each month I would conduct a burning test on the screen and a vertical banding test as well. And everything was fine with the panel up until approximately eight months of ownership. Uh, where some dead pixels were showing up on the display. Um, I chose not to do anything about it at the time and uh, just let them be and uh, continued with the testing just to see how they progress over time and uh, got to uh, approximately the 12 months of ownership of the TV and uh, I contacted LG about the dead pixels and they uh, agreed to send out a couple of engineers to replace the panel. Now that panel was replaced just over one month ago and uh, I've actually made a video showing the whole panel being replaced from start to finish and uh, quite funny because the one engineer got a bit of a uh, electric sh shock off the board so uh, if you want to go and see that then uh, I'll put a link in the description for that one but yeah so the uh, panel was changed out and uh, when I'd done my very first test after sort of a day or so um, the panel didn't look great uh, after doing a uh, sort of letting it run a few sort of cycles through and all that um, the panel cleared up really well and uh, yeah I was really chuffed with it and that's where we are at this moment. So what I'm going to do in this test today is run a 5% grayscale test. This will be to check out for any vertical banding or any inconsistencies with the panel on a uh, grayscale background. Then we're going to move on to a color sweep where um, the, the TV will display various colors and this should highlight any um, potential dead pixels again or if there has been any burning that has occurred um, over the sort of last few weeks of ownership of this new panel. Now hours used on this new panel I'm going to guesstimate roughly about 120 thereabouts um, Reason being it hasn't we've not put many on is because we've got a Q90R up there as well at the moment and we've been doing a bit of testing but the Q90R has been sort of uh, used more at the moment than the OLED so uh, that's why the hours are a little bit down. So anyway I think it's now time we crack on with the testing. So before I just actually fire up the first part of the test what I'm going to do is just quickly show you guys what firmware I'm running on this because there was an update recently so what I've just done is a long press on the settings button I'm going to go down to general then about this TV and there we go that is the firm or software version is 05.10.50 Right, so where we are with the 5% grayscale. And for any of you guys who are wondering where I've got this grayscale test from, well, it's just one off YouTube. And I have actually made a video all about uh, the tests that I use. So I'll put a link in the description for those. So uh, you can go and check those out for yourselves. So getting on to this panel then. And yeah, it's uh, not looking, you know, too bad it's not the best but it's not the worst so we do have some uh, vertical lines here this is me looking through the camera now and uh, sort of this dark area here but as I always say the camera does emphasize this it makes it probably you know a lot worse than what it appears uh, with your eyes looking at the screen as opposed to looking through the camera so what i'm seeing with my own eyes i can see very faint this one here and a tiny bit of this patch there um so overall it's not that bad and i will be honest when i watch you know just regular tv be it films or um anything even like fast moving stuff where you'd think like you know any sort of vertical lines would be shown up a bit like a dirty screen effect but no i have not noticed any of that so uh you know that's that's great you know as, as far as i'm concerned you know if you don't notice it when watching regular tv then really it's nothing to really uh worry about so uh i'd say that's uh all good like i say could be better but could be far worse if it's not interfering with me viewing then you know it's all good then really so what we'll do now is move on to the color sweep test right so we are off with the color sweep test now 
And what I'm gonna do is just let this rotate through the uh, various colors and that, and see if there's anything obvious. And what I will do then is stop it on some of the uh, main colors and we will go in close to see if we can see any obvious signs of screen burn or dead pixels. But from what I'm seeing at the moment, um, that's all looking pretty good and nice and uh, uniformed really. So we will just stop it there on that white and it may look a bit blue on your camera because that's what it's looking like on my camera. But in person, it does look white, trust me. So we will go in a bit closer now and uh, we'll look at the uh, corners and pay uh, particular attention there. Reason for this is because this is where you seem to get, you know, your main static logos for your TV channels and whatnot. And uh, just moving across here. And that's all looking perfectly fine there. Down the side and along the bottom, all looks spot on to me. And then in the middle, yeah, that all looks good. Now, if you can see a bit of flickering, that's just sort of the uh, camera and the TV interfering with each other, not the actual uh, OLED panel itself. So let's uh, move on to the next color. Right, now we have a lovely blue, and this does actually look exactly the same on camera as it does in person. So again, we'll move in close. And uh, just to point out to you guys that my kids have been watching sort of uh, kids programs with static logos. So, you know, it does get sort of used properly, this TV. And uh, yeah, let's move along the top. You know, this isn't a TV that's really sort of babysitted as such. You know, it's used like any other TV would be you gaming on it and things like that, you know, with your heads up displays and whatnot. Play lots of Call of Duty at the moment. And again, kids have uh, programs that I know that definitely have like red logos down there and there's nothing there. And if there was, what you'd see is a difference on the color there because what it'd be doing is burning out one of those colored pixels. Generally, it is the red one that normally is the culprit. So if it was on red, you'd maybe see it like a yellow tinge of, you know, or outline of whatever static logo has burnt in. Right, so that blue was all good. And uh, just wait for the little birdie pointer to go. There it goes. And let's have a look at the green. Now, the green was always a good one for showing up any dead pixels. So let's move along the top there. And yeah, looks absolutely perfect. As you'd expect it would do after such a short amount of time, really. But, you know, this is a continued test. You know, this will keep going on as long as I own this panel every month. So, you know, I'm being open and honest. And as soon as there is any issues, I always uh, post a video up and looking at the centre there. That looks spot on because I want to document, um, you know, the lifespan of one of these panels and, you know, be truthful to you guys and, uh, you know, how they were over time. So let's uh, move on to the next colour. And now we are on to a lovely deep red. Again, start the top left hand corner. And going along the top, all looking good. And for anyone who doesn't know, before I had the uh, dead pixels up in this sort of area, not that it makes any difference on this panel, but still just want to point that out. And again, go and check out those videos. Um, where I show about those dead pixels. Again, I'll put a link in the description for those. And up the left hand side. And finally in the middle. And that looks absolutely sweet as a nut. So there you go then guys. And like I said, I'll be leaving a link in the description to my video where I show you how you can find the same test that I used tonight so you can conduct the test at home yourself. 
Also, I will be leaving a link to the video where the two engineers swap the panel out on my OLED. Like I said, it's a very good video and you get to see all the insides of an OLED. So please uh, go and watch that one. And also I will put a link in the description as well for the video where I show the dead pixels when I first found them. So there you have it then guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and if you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on next one. Bye for now.